Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it really helped me out in where I'm trying to get to speak. Okay, so today I am, of course, with somebody completely, actually, rather similar. So this is my twin brother, Cameron, and a huge, huge welcome to my channel. Now, me and my brother are very, very close, but we don't necessarily get to spend too much time together just because life happens, and very often... When we do have time off, or whenever we do have spare time, it doesn't necessarily click together. But when we do, we do enjoy having a laugh, and we are incredibly close. So I thought that it would be really, really great. I've had a few comments on the channel. Um, I've kind of started wondering a little bit about sort of me personally in the background. I, I do a lots of reviews. I do lots of things around hair products, lots of things around skin, lots about life in general, uh, lessons and that kind of philosophical life message, which I love and really, really interested in that, that whole inspiration of getting going for life and keep going and all that positivity. So today is going to do something completely different. I'm going to introduce you to my twin brother, Cameron, and we're going to have a bit of a chat between us and there is nothing planned for this there is nothing planned so nothing is off limits by the way um me and cameron get on really well however of course i'm a natural talker you've probably already guessed that i talk far too much um and we're gonna show you a little bit kind of us to be honest with you i think it would be really good to showcase that on the channel so we're gonna hand you over to him so let's start with something which we were absolutely wondering what what makes us, us, I suppose, and it doesn't have to be serious, what makes you smile, what makes you laugh, and what makes you get up and go? Um, what, makes, what makes you smile? What makes you smile? Oh, not too much, really, because you know I'm the miserable one. Um, Cameron is predominantly the more... I mean, I'm, I'm serious. Cameron goes through life I don't want to say the comedian because that sounds awful and it sounds like a cheap shot at somebody. Um, but the sense of humour, Cameron's got a very crude sense of humour. I just want to put that out there. We do not want any swearing on this. Cameron has, uh, I don't know what you want to call it. I don't swear at all. Um, I always try to try to carry a very professional outlook on life. I always try to um, really always hold it together. Cameron, on the other hand, just lets it all out, to be quite honest with you. Sometimes it can be quite right. Sometimes not. I always try to be polite and kind, uh, but yeah, sometimes it just doesn't work like that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's um, For me personally, I think different things have happened in my life which have made me concentrate on, um, not concentrate, but perhaps grow up and have a bit more of an outlook on life probably much older before my time. Um, we're 28. Um, now, I actually think, and that's really, really funny. Do you know what, what, what I always find strange is that we still get asked those stereotypical questions which twins get asked. They're trying to get a bit boring, don't they? Yeah, they really, really do. They really do get a bit boring. What, what's the ones what do we you dress the same? Do you dress the same? No, we don't dress the same. Oh, of course do we don't we, dress the same. Do we have the same dress sense? No, massively different. No, absolutely. What's your dress sense? I mean, we both like to be quite formal a lot of the time. Yeah, but... I we'll agree. put your pair of trainers on. <laughs> and we'll put different hoodies and things like that on. This man is very, very formal, very well dressed all the time. <laughs> you can only appreciate that. I, I really like that, and my whole, my whole look on life is that. You don't know who you're going to meet. Do you? Absolutely, you really, really don't. You get one is, life, you get one go at it, life, and you like to look good whenever you can. Absolutely, and life is no dress rehearsal. The day we've done today, you don't get to do all over again. So why on earth would you not want to look your best? I don't actually own trainers. Um, I don't. Sports, nothing wrong with sportswear. I have sportswear. It's just not necessarily me. And I feel much more comfortable yeah. in sort of formal attire and that, that type of sort of clothing. I mean, as I've got older together, we've sort of, sort of gone that way a little bit. When I was younger, I was very much the sporty type as well. But we've gone that way. But that's just, I think, because we've got older, a little bit more mature in certain areas as well, I think. For me, certainly, not speaking for you, but certainly for me, I've had to grow up a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. So a lot of people, if you're just watching this for the very first time on my channel, welcome. Again, we are twins, but we are very different people. We're very, very close, but twins doesn't necessarily, and what absolutely annoyed us both is through growing up, when you mention twins, people think that you're just one, one, the question, one. They just think that you're just one. Um, so me and Cameron both have our own lives. Cameron has a beautiful, beautiful, precious little baby girl, which is his life. So he's very, very busy with that. Um, me, 
I'm work. I haven't got a partner at the moment. I haven't got a girlfriend. I haven't got children. I haven't got anything like that. Me, I'm still very much working on career, very career focused, very education focused. Still at my age, I'm still developing. That's going really, really well. Finance and accountancy is my area. Absolutely love that. Thrive on everything like that. Um, and yeah, we we've kind of gone different paths really. We've I will put it out there. We have both done very, very well. We've done, we, bang, what the, that, that happens quite a lot. Um, missing words, that is. And when you have a hearing problem like me, um, yeah, that happens a lot. So if that happens, forgive me. But, but no, we've taken different routes in this life, but we've worked hard. We've worked really damn hard at school. Um, and, and that was fun. Going to school and having growing up together was an absolute blessing. It really, really was. Um, and, and that's a huge, huge story. But Cameron is an absolute amazing culinary chef wizard. I'm very, very good at cooking, um, but Cameron is just something else. What Cameron creates and the finesse Cameron can put together is art. I don't know. Whereas right. me, I'm sort of spreadsheets, figures, numbers, that number type of thing. Man. I could turn a business around, let's put it that way. Numbers, um, that's that's my area. And I really, really like politics. I'm going to move you slightly this way <laughs> because you were moving off the camera. And just remember to keep looking here. Cameron is not necessarily used to doing this. He's not me. I wouldn't say I'm a confident soul, but I have... Um, I do have, I, I love sort of public speaking. Charities are very, very important to me, very, very dear to my heart. So I would talk about that for an absolute lifetime. Um, and if I feel passionate on something, believe it or not, people are going to hate me for this, but politics, I really, really thrive on. I really can get quite down on really gritty with that. We've got our own reasons for that. Yeah, absolutely. We have. Really yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. What's happened recently. Yeah, absolutely. Can't, can't absolutely. Can't I, mean, I mean, we're not going to spend a lot of time on this, but... No. Predominantly, that is me because the horrible, horrific things. We are both incredibly close to our grandmother, and we lost her, which has turned my life upside down, and and if I know it affected Cameron hugely. We lost her back in May, um, and that's losing somebody so special and Probably so dear. This this life has been a blessing to us. We have incredible parents. We have a wonderful family. Um, we have a treasure of a grandmother, um, and and yeah, and I'll let you into a little secret as we were growing up. Um, Nan always, always said to us that I think the world of you, my love, but although I may never see you grow up, I'll always be with you and I'll always be looking down on you. And that stays with us. But do you know what? Yeah. Whilst I couldn't see Nan throughout the pandemic and we were with her in her final moments, um, our prime minister was throwing parties when we couldn't even see her apart from through a glass. So that's why that's a passionate subject of mine. Let's leave it there. Believe you me yeah. at the moment. Um, um, so otherwise, we'll go flying out the window. Um, yeah. Let's get down to something what people are probably a lot more interested in. We're going to flip this around now, and we are going to go with... I mean, I do a lot on reviewing products for hair, a lot of skincare, a lot of sort of life philosophical messages, positivity, all of that type of thing, which is a huge passion of mine. But let's start with some of the questions, which people are probably wondering. Probably not. I don't really care. <laughs> do we think the same things? <laughs> oh, God. Um, do we think the same things? That's interesting. I mean, we have moments. We have moments. Not that stereotypical twin question that was, do you think the same things? What do you think? <laughs> that we're separate people. We have separate lives. But there are times where we amaze ourselves. We all think the same thing. We always say the same thing. Um, I think at heart we have the same values. Absolutely, we certainly do. Um, what thrives us, what pushes us, what determines us in this life, I think we're very much on the same stone. It's kind of things like, how do we put this? Things like sort of, I think those sort of personality traits are what are, are what differentiates us, to be quite honest with you. Um, what is, I mean, let's do something a little bit cool here. Okay, so, best hair. Yeah. No, hang on, we're not going to do it like that. No, we've got different style. I've got longer length hair. Mine has just passed my mm. chin now. Cameron's, I actually like, I'm thinking about having this style. Um, I really like this, but we've already done that question. Okay, so let's turn this around a bit. Best sense of humour. You. You've got to say it at the same time. Yeah. Best sense of humour. Three, two, one. You. Me. Yeah, okay, absolutely. That's really good. We're going to do that. Okay. Who is the most tech savvy? You. No, I'm not. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have agreed there, and I didn't actually even say three, two, one. So to remind you, we're going to do three, two, one. Then you. the answer. Right. Yeah. Okay. Who is naturally more assertive? Three, two, 
Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yes, I yeah. completely, mm-hmm. wholeheartedly agree. Who is the Prime Minister of Australia? Who is more naturally funny? Three, two, one. Yeah. You. No, I don't agree with that. See, yeah. why am I funny? I am the serious one. And something to let you into a little secret. We always, always say, and people frown at this, about our, our relationship. Now, we always say, and actually, can we come up with this? I'm going to let him explain. Do you know what I'm talking about? No, you clearly don't. Yeah, okay, yeah. so, B, we're actually trying to explain it then. So, we have, will you explain it? It's the whole time we've been together, sort of. Yeah, thing, absolutely, isn't it? absolutely. And we, for our ages, and as you know, we're not going to go into the science of how how babies are, where they develop, and where they grow. But we've probably been sure. together what, we're twenty-eight. <laughs> we've been together twenty-nine years. Nearly yeah, twenty-nine years. We're still years, going strong. And we're still going strong. That's we've argued, but we're we still do. pretty that's, solid. Yeah, that's really, really good. And the thing is, the relationship between, I think, twins brothers are close. Of course, absolutely, our family members are close. Absolutely, of course, they are. I think, but being a twin, you're more in sync now. An example of this is me having a hearing problem. So I've been smacked around with the luck of life tree and I unfortunately lost quite a bit of my hearing. Now, what sort of mirrors uh, our relationship is that actually anybody else, if I work with or anything like that at all, I have to say, sorry, what was that part and what was that if I didn't hear? I can have a bit of a blank face and people will give me a little bit of a funny look and then I've got to try and get myself out of that situation and start to get myself back up to a hearing. Whereas with Cameron, what's really great and which I treasure and means the most is if I'm out and about or if we're anywhere or with family or one thing or another, and if I don't hear something, I know just by Cameron looking at me, I know that he already knows that I didn't hear that last sentence or I need a bit of help in the situation I'm in because I've nodded or I've smiled and I've not necessarily known. Right or wrong? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. how cool is that? And that mirrors. I love a song, by the way. I know when you've missed something, don't yeah. you? Really? Yeah, absolutely do. And I'm not well, afraid to say that. I, I, think... won't, I won't make it a big thing, but I'll, I'll give you a little point. I won't say the conversation's <laughs> going or how the situation's involving. Yeah, absolutely. Or a sly sort of, not sly, or a slight sort of nudge theoretical yeah. nudge just sort of point me in the right direction and then that yeah. way i'm fine i feel confidence when camera's around he gives me confidence when i'm around what do i bring quality oh <laughs> that's pretty cool who paid you to say yeah. that i wonder you <laughs> no no we didn't let's just get that out there no we certainly didn't okay so we're going to do something we're going to try and go back to the questions a little bit lighten up and let's answer so you throw a question in there because of course i'm already thinking of the answer so throw a question which we can give a response to. Best dressed. Three, two, one. Me. You. Yeah. yeah, cool. Really cool. I'm proud of that one. Should we end the clip there? <laughs> right, go again. Best taste in things. Three, two, one. Me. Yeah, yeah cool. Absolutely. Yeah, I like that one. I like that one. Okay, carry on. Best cook. Three, two, one. Me. Me. Yeah, no, clearly Cameron. Cameron, again, fantastic. Culinary genius. I am very good at cooking, by the way. I am very good at baking. I learned that from my mum and my nan. Okay, her mum. So it's kind of passed down through the family. That's where Cameron gets it from, too. But Cameron ran forward, gone around the world about 10 times with it, and then come back and then puts it on the plate. So move on to the next question. What did you say? What's the worst thing you find you hate on a daily basis? It can be anything from personal care, looking after yourself, from doing something, anything. Well, well too much, like, really. is it not? I don't like being held back. Oh, yeah, you're you're thinking about too much. I don't like being held back. None of us like being held back whatsoever. Me, I hate shaving. I shave every single day. He is always on about me because I end how up with a rash hit. It's how you yeah, shave. No, I, I don't necessarily agree with that. I hate any element or feeling as though there is hair here. So I go every single way and I do that every single day. And for me, if I didn't do that, I don't feel as though I can take, I can get on with my day. I really can't make people so uncomfortable. For you, you just rock any kind of look and it seems to look cool on you. I've got to try a bit harder. Uh, that is the thing. I've got to try a little bit harder. Um, yeah, look at him looking. I, I am mean, looking at the hairline though. I'm sure that... No, there's nothing wrong with your hairline. What about my hairline? Well, yeah, it's fine. Isn't it? Yeah, I got use it. Not just because of that. I invest a lot of money oh, in time. The, but... My head. No, not even that. Look at the extensive, exquisite range of products for hair I have. Oh, yeah. 
And that's just where it comes from, isn't it? Yeah, it absolutely is. <laughs> not really. I'm not vain by any means at all. Um, if I keep myself looking smart, it's not for anybody. It's for myself. It's for confidence. Um, yeah, that's pretty much how it is, to be quite honest with you. Okay. So, one thing else you want to bring to the table of my channel for the viewers and subscribers. <laughs> I mean, something to probably bring in, um, in confidence. People have always noticed, always noticed when we were younger about levels of confidence um, in certain situations when we were growing up. Um, who's the shyest? Who had the most confidence? Who had the most friends? Yeah, um, well, that's a good one. And confidence yeah. was always never important to me. It was always very important to Bradley. Um, and having the confidence now is sometimes, isn't it? Sometimes in certain situations you'll struggle with. Whereas me, I've never really cared. But I totally, as I've got older, understand that now. So for the people out there that struggle with confidence in certain situations, just keep telling yourself, who cares? You are what you are. And try to enjoy it. Try to do what you're doing. Whatever you're doing, put your best into it. If you've done your best, what's the point? You can't do any better than your best. And that's what I say to anyone. And that is one thing. I've made it all serious now, haven't I? But that's one thing I'd say to look back at my younger self. You tried your best. And if you tried the best, it worked. And amazing. If it doesn't work, who cares? Just go again. It's having that opportunity to go again. If you don't get that opportunity to go again, then I'm sorry for you because obviously something's happened and that's horrible. But don't beat yourself too much up about life. There's too much. There's too much in life that you need to worry about sometimes. Don't worry about the stupid meaningless things like someone's opinion. Who cares? When you're younger, some of that school wasn't that you always used to care about people's opinions. Yeah, uh, I was always yeah, there to see Bradley, but there was a few bullying situations and things like that. But when we could, we'd put them to, to bed, wouldn't we? You look back Not on them now. Literally, but <laughs> <laughs> you look no, at, I, looking I, back I, on those I situations now, which is stupid. I know what you mean. Yeah, abs but absolutely. There's I too mean, much the... in life. This uh, COVID recently. Our government, you've only got to look at what the joke that is. There's too much it's out there and you think, oh my God, the stupid little things that you're losing sleep over, it's not important. That's what I would say. Confidence and tying that in is really big. Yeah. yeah, Especially I, for you. I, yeah, I agree. I will learn from that. Thank you. <laughs> and to everybody else watching that, some really, really great But advice. we wanted just to be honest, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, absolutely uh, we did. Yeah, like, this is what twin life is about. It's what I always what say, um, what I always say, and I am not perfect. Nobody is perfect. Um. But what I would say is, life is all about, it's not how you fall down, it's how you get back, get back up again. Um, I try and tell myself that every single day, and a lot of people will have heard me say this on the channel, but it's that life is no dress rehearsal, and no one, not no one, with all the money in the world, is promised 100% a tomorrow. And if we're blessed with another, then I say, let's grab it with both hands and run with it. And you probably hear that a lot on the channel. You probably hear that a lot. Thanks. I don't repeat myself. <laughs> but but <laughs> having that ease off helped you, wasn't it? It's got me through a lot. It's, it's really things that we've experienced recently. Yeah. If one person can watch this and take a little tip out of it, then yeah, you've you've done a good job, haven't you? If if you can take one person away, so you've helped from yeah. it. Yeah, and that's what this channel is all about. I'd like to think so. Yeah. More things out there that other people can relate to. Yeah, absolutely. And help themselves as well. Yeah, I and I don't want people to sit here watching this and think, Christ, what a philosophical pair of no yeah, sat there. You're, that's but that's I, again you're, you you get people that watch it and some people make some people make comments that are just un uncalled for. Say it, let it free. Some people just make comments that are damn like silly and just think, really, why have you said that? If you don't like the video, don't watch it. This is, we're not we're not here to do that. No, he's no, not here to do that no, all the time. No. no. Um, what might and somebody might say, why are you here? Well my channel is all about the bumpy road of life and what gets thrown at us. Yeah. Whilst looking with great hair. <laughs> exactly, but it's so, that, isn't it? Yeah, so let's talk about that. And let's talk about we that. cover, I cover, so I'm going to be doing this a little bit more often, I think now, but I cover the good, the bad, the challenging, the worrying, the stress, the fearful, the achievements, the great things. Because at the end of the day, we're all on this bumpy road of life together, and what comes up and gets thrown at us is how we do of it defines us. And I like to use my channel as almost like as a virtual diary. I absolutely love it. I love the comments. I love the people what reach out to me. If I can help anybody in this world, my ethos is if you do good and you put that into the world, then it will make its way back to you. Now I have a brother who hates that. Cameron probably hates that as well. But I live by we have one life. Why not 
Why would you not want to use that to do good and to help others? I find it sickening and saddening that the, the horrific things we hear, life is far too short. I try to be positive. Of course life is testing. Of course we argue. Of course, I, I will be honest, there are not, I don't really have any regrets in life because I have planned methodically and life is not a plan. That's what I'm trying to get away from now. It is about mistakes and of course not being frightened of making those mistakes because that's what grows us. But yeah. You it, did it a lot when we were younger, didn't you? Left school. First thing, I think one of the first things you did was make yourself a big plan. I want to achieve yeah, this by this absolutely. age, this by this age, yeah. this by this age. And some people actually recommend you to do that, don't they? But sometimes it makes you miserable. Some, but yeah, it made, and you, it made... Yeah, and it may, I'll be honest, it has made me miserable. It held me back. Yeah, you keep Because when you haven't met those things, when you that sort of time, when you judge yourself. Yeah, certainly you do. And you really beat yourself up and mentally about it. When you're always for everlasting setting that bar in life for you to reach sky high and you can never quite reach it that is so deflating and in the end all you're doing is you're just being spiteful and detrimental to yourself and then you can't really grow you can't really develop and then to be quite honest you just find yourself in a miserable mess i mean can you remember the times when we were say like 21 22 and i'd be speaking to you down in the dumps and i'd say like i'm 21 i haven't been in this kitchen yet i haven't yeah. worked at this level yet yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, so what? yeah, I do. So Absolutely, what? I do. And uh, that is another huge, huge subject. At the end of the day, and I can talk, I really, really can, because of the operations and things I've had, which in a way has taken years out of my life recently. And at the end of the day, it does not matter how long it takes you to get to your end goal. Enjoy the journey along the way. And it does not matter how long it takes for you to get there, because everybody is doing it at a different pace. People go through loss. People go through Issues in life which is put on them from no choice of their own. Life happens. It is not a perfect path. It's not easy. Sadly. No. And my come back to you on that is why on earth should it be? When people think that life should be easy, no, it shouldn't be. Life should not have all these horrible yeah, nasty so things that be boring, wouldn't it? Oh god, absolutely. And I mean life shouldn't have all these horrific things happen to people. Sadly it does. I'm coming from an area when people think that life should just be handed to them on a plate. You have to work hard for this. You really, really do. And you know what? That's why I think when you hear people when they complain and things like that, actually, it's almost like, just stop. Take a moment of reflection. And actually, with a small change, your life could actually be incredible. Mm -hmm. And my one tip is, on the journey of life, really value and cherish the journey, not just the end goal. Because ultimately, the journey is probably much actual better than that end goal. And cherish and love those around you. It's, it's vitally important. It really is. And then the other thing I'd probably add to that is keep going because you never know how close you are to achieving what you want to achieve. Yeah, I, I, I love that. That was probably an area where I missed that. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, wow, really, that gets you thinking, doesn't it? It really does. But you can tell we've been through things. Of course we have. Um, well, again, we're not the only ones. <clears throat> we don't want you to think that. No, not at all. I wanted us to have an open, bit of a frank conversation about us. But behind the channel as we well. we stand yeah. for. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, certainly. I try to sit here. I, like, I try to bring all different things to my channel, which is growing very slowly. I'm enjoying it. I'm loving it. Absolutely. But I've had a few comments and I just think to myself, why? And I look back on my channel and think, actually, there is me. Yes, but there's not actually me, me there. Yeah. And for me to be me, it's part of him sat here as well. So that's why I brought that to you as well. So this is a very open chat. Nothing's off limits, but we've been very good. I have to admit, you've been absolutely really good. I've not had one swear word. Honestly, that's um, a bit of a shock. Don't be saying anything. I don't want any words against me <laughs> from good. YouTube. Um, but, but yeah, wow. I think that's been pretty damn good. Absolutely. Mm. What we've been doing and concentrating on the last couple of days is mindfulness techniques to try and take a moment out of life when your mind is really really busy that was my last clip so you haven't already looked at looked at it what on earth are you doing go and have a look at it, it really does help. <laughs> and it really really does i was very very skeptical but right. we found ourselves earlier yeah in a coffee shop in yeah. starbucks which is my favorite coffee by the way if anybody's wondering and um i always have a cappuccino with cinnamon and you always have medium cappuccino isn't it medium cappuccino yeah do you have cinnamon no no, cinnamon. no i always have cinnamon um, the health well, benefits are... And we sat there for 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, doing a technique. What? Listing all the uh, United States of America. Yes. And we how many did we get? We got there in the end. We got all 50. We got all 50. Turns out West Virginia's 
Right. We will be corrected now. You've just mentioned you probably that. have. There will be opinions. You can correct me <laughs> all you want. That's absolutely fine. Cool. Um, it helped us. And the yeah. mindfulness thing, you go back, watch the clip. Do you know what? I was skeptical. I watched it. I tried it. It helps. Yeah. Oh, that's the result. I haven't actually come across something which has helped me as much as doing this type of technique. And a game like, which we're going to do a quick little game of it, is I say glass, you say window. Good. Pain. <laughs> Hospitals. Cool. Surgeon. Medic. Coat. Medic coat, as in a medical coat. Hat. Scarf. Cold. Summer. Autumn. Winter. Shoes. <laughs> Swede. Carrot. <laughs> um. Veg. You can see where we're going. Yeah, absolutely. We can. I got a bit carried away there. You can see where we're going. I do. But you, you lose yourself. Really? Really? Silly, but you lose yourself. I hope you're still watching. Yeah, really. I hope you're still watching. <laughs> but it helps. It really, really does. And sometimes it's all about taking yourself not too seriously. Um, we're both guilty of that sometimes, aren't we? Yeah. I mean, you're a little bit more happy go lucky in life. I'm always a little bit knotted, quite stressed, always thinking about things. Um. Yeah, you're learning to be a bit more yeah happy go lucky. Yeah, absolutely. But you're more humorous. You've got the comedy all the time, which you've not brought to this. But we will be making sure that you bring this next. We we'll do more. We we'll do more, and that that is um that's really good. Cameron always cheers me up. He and the rubbish what comes out of his mouth sometimes, but I wouldn't change it for the world. I can be guilty. Yes. Yeah, just be very careful. crazy moment. Yes, with a bit of a yeah, a brick hitting the floor in a very busy room. A few surprises in there. Yeah, but I think what we set out to do in this video was yeah. pretty much achieved. Really. It's been good, and I would like to thank you for spending nearly twenty-seven minutes with me chatting on a camera when you don't do it very often. Okay. Anything else you'd like to say in this clip? Really, I think we'll look at doing this again in the future. Yeah. Um, we'll try and do a bit more of this. Yeah. And we'll pick some topics and we'll hit those. Yeah, um, next time we may even plan it. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so thank you very much indeed for watching this clip. And as ever, thank you. And it means the world that you're here to me and to Cameron. And that was us having a bit of a twin chat. And yeah, that's us. Real, natural. And yeah there. So thanks very much and thank you for being here. So until next time, I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now. Bye. Thank you.